Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared only one multiple choice question for you. Usually my videos include two questions but this um, question is not as easy as most of you might think. So here is the problem. Achondroplasia is dominant form of dwarfism. Two affected individuals have a, and you have to choose any of these answers. Uh, chances of having an unaffected child. So I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. I hope you recognize this actor who has this genetic condition and uh, actually uh, solution of this problem is, as I mentioned earlier, is not as easy as you might think. Uh, for example, if we took two affected individuals, two affected individuals, and if we know that this is dominant genetic disorder, so uh, capital A means defective allele and small a means normal allele. So one parent is heterozygous for this genetic disorder. And that means that uh, this parent is dwarf, so has this genetic disorder, and another parent also has the same genotype and also has this genetic disorder. When we build the Punnett square, we can see uh, what uh, genotypes of the progeny would be and their phenotypes. So capital A, capital A here capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. So small a, small a means normal genotype and phenotype, but if you think that the answer would be answer B, that probability of two affected uh, persons have a normal child would be 1 out of 4 or 25%, this is not a correct answer, because dominant allele A is a little allele, meaning that in homozygous form, that is capital A, capital A, it is lethal, meaning that this person with such genotype would never be born. After fertilization, fetus of this genotype would stop growing at the very early stage of development, so uh, in um, live birth we can see only these three genotypes. So the answer for our question would be that uh, probability is 1 out of 3. So 1 chance out of 3 live births. And as you see there is no such answer here. The correct answer would be 1 out of 3 or 33.3 so the correct answer would be answer E. None of the above is correct. And uh, another example I want to show you what would happen if a person of the normal phenotype and person with this genetic disorder, chondroplasia, would marry and what is the chances for their children to be of the normal phenotype or to have uh, this genetic defect. So uh, normal phenotype would be small a, small a, and affected genotype would be capital A and small a. Once again, uh, there is no dwarfs with this uh, dominant genetic disorder who is going to be homozygous dominant, only heterozygous. So we would have here capital A, small a, capital A, small a, small a, small a here, and small a, small a here. So as you see, 50% chances that they would have progeny that is also going to be uh, dwarfs, and 50% chances that their progeny would be phenotypically and genotypically normal. I also want to add that not all forms of the dwarfism are uh, dominant, there are also uh, many different forms of dwarfism that is caused by recessive alleles. And of course, in order to get this form of dwarfism, a uh, person have to have two recessive alleles to express this genetic disorder. 
but most abundant um, form of dwarfism is caused by the gene that is that's name is FGFR3 that is uh, reside on the chromosome number 4 and chromosome number 4 has two arms so this gene can be found on the small uh, arm of the chromosome number 4 another interesting information that most of the dwarfs actually don't have uh, any of the parent who is also dwarf and who pass this dominant allele to the progeny but uh, most of these mutations are de novo meaning that this happens during meiosis in the gametes it can happen whether in a egg cell or in a sperm and uh, if you wonder if there is a treatment to treat this genetic disorder um, there is no cure but uh, there treatments exist for example to treat people with this genetic disorder from early age with growth hormone limbs of such people can be stretched with uh, Elizarius apparatus that stretch um, bones but no uh, real cure is exist if for example a couple uh, has one person with this uh, genetic condition want uh, make sure that uh, their progeny wouldn't get this genetic condition what they can do they can do in vitro fertilization when you took an egg from mother a sperm from the father and then you fertilize eggs and then before implanting a small sample is taken if sample doesn't have this defective allele then fertilized egg cell would be implanted and a couple would escape this 50 to 50 chances so they uh, would be assured that uh, they would have 100 percent chances that their progeny would be phenotypically normal and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye